Hello, my name is Yasmin Villasana, uh, and I'm going to talk about Shireen Nishat and Julia Maretsu for my world art class and the just about their artworks. Starting off with Shireen and why does she make the type of artwork that she does. Shireen creates her artwork because it allows her to get a sense of home. She's originally from Iran and she moved at a very young age, 17 and she hasn't been back ever since. So it's been hard for her to really uh, really identify a place to identify as home. And with her now adult life, she's always on the move, whether it's the Eastern or Western coast. And even then she still doesn't have a de definite place to call home. So she really struggles with that throughout her life. So with her artwork, she uses that to express and talk about those issues she faced and questions and just her personal questions she has with home and her personal beliefs and things like that. Her thought process or what she's thinking of when she's creating her artwork is pretty much her past life when she was still in Iran before she left. Uh, back again with her never really having a place to be considered home. So with her artwork, she can embrace her questions and not feel so ashamed and lost when she doesn't know and that's okay. And so that's just kind of her thought process of how she wants to express herself, even though she's not entirely sure how she feels or what she doesn't know. So that's what she thinks of when she's creating her work. For her viewers around the world who view her artwork, of course, I would say the impact she has on them is that it's okay to show um, your vulnerable side. Um, when they see her artwork, you can see all her emotions, her thought process, and of course the problems she faces, especially with her identity with Iran and all the things that come with it, with her home beliefs, you know, human rights and things like that. So she just lets her viewers and people know that it's okay to question that and you can express your feelings and questions through your work. For me, I like, <clears throat> to me, I like how she expresses that vulnerable side, but she still doesn't really view it as a weakness. It's more of a strength and weakness because she connects her two worlds together of her past life in Iran and now with her artwork and also helps her move on and keep continuing a life and just picture herself with a better future and really express her true feelings. Now about Julie Moretu, if I'm saying that correctly, uh, she creates her artwork because she wants to show the truth behind so much more of what's so much more of a landscape than what meets the eye. Um, with her artwork, she tries to tell a story from the history of a land and then the landscape itself. So she goes on a very abstract kind of way with that. During her creation of her artwork, her thought process is how can she pretty much share the history and, and express the violence that went through it and capture all the different events and capture it into one piece of artwork and for people to still, for everything to work together and it be one cohesive narrative with so many things happening. I would say her work view uh, impacts others because it pretty much opens their eyes and view the landscape in a different way and kind of open their eyes and know the truth of what really happened on certain landscapes with the history and usually a lot of violence that goes on. So she definitely, you know, opens their eyes and their ears to see what really happened and, but in a beautiful way, even though the history might not be beautiful, but she does that in a different way. For me, I would say I love, she impacted me because she said it's okay to d dig under the dirt in a sense to understand what the 
meeting was behind that land, what took place, the history, of course, the violence, and that it's okay to hear and it's not terrible, but that's how the land came to be. So in this, in the end of the day, that's what happened, that's what it is, and we shouldn't try to hide from that, and that people should have the right to know that and not just try to cover it up, you know, with the pretty seats. So she kind of gives that sense of balance with making beautiful abstract art and then but still showing the sometimes the ugly truth behind it famous artworks by shireen would have to say this one would be the most famous with an iranian woman probably shireen with a hijab on her and with the persian written over her face and a gun in between the middle and she does a lot of photography and drawing so that's a big famous one i would say for her and then for julie i would say this one was the one i came across a lot very abstract but still very very creative and i love her work uses of colors to still certain areas pop and it really gives it dimension so it's not so boring and flat it really gives it a deeper look into that different types of artwork and yeah shireen and julie's are very different but expresses their feelings toward the religious and political ideas and i think it's a good way to express their feelings and also thought process thank you